You've had the chance to visit Harlem in the past decade. You may have noticed that a lot of West Africans now live in the neighborhood, especially Senegalese. The several blocks around 116th Street, in fact, are called Little Senegal. That's one reason why the U.S. election is being followed very closely back in Senegal. And there's a lot of concern there about all the anti-immigrant talk from Donald Trump. But at least some Senegalese are having a good laugh about it, too. Good morning. Hi. Hi. My name is Donald Trump. Yeah. Yes. Future President of America. That's Kuchia, a comedian in Dakar. He goes by just one name, but ask most Senegalese, and they'll know exactly who he is. In fact, his popular TV show is simply called Kuchia Show. As you just heard, Kuchia has been impersonating Trump. He found a wig at a women's hair salon in Dakar and adjusted it to create Trump's massive cowlick. And his face makeup is white, even though that's not the color most satirists have settled on as Trump's primary skin tone. Senegalese audiences in Dakar and in New York love it. That's what New York-based Senegalese journalist Dam Babu told me. I can tell you that is one of the most watched shows in the community here, including uh, even compared to the U.S. television. They watch Kutia show more than the shows from the U.S. Here in the U.S., you can watch Kutia online. Here's a bit from one recent episode. Bugonga, Japalama, Hillary Clinton, Bobby Albertukumo, crazy stuff. Hillary Clinton. Yes. Fabar, Goody Bachang, Manmonak president. Kutia as Trump travels to a village in Africa to meet a shaman. Obama! Oh, Obama! Oh, Obama! Okay. The comedian walked me through the sketch, which is in Wolof, the main language of Senegal. Donald Trump, at the dernier moment, pensait que peut-être seuls les marabouts d'Afrique peuvent. The conceit here is that Trump thinks he should consult an African shaman because only a shaman, Trump has heard, would give him the power to be elected. So he goes to Africa and meets a wild-eyed master of black magic who tells him about all the leaders he's empowered with his spells. Barack Obama, Thabo Mbeki of South Africa, Nicolas Sarkozy of France. But as it turns out, Trump is in the same village where a different shaman is giving Hillary Clinton a magic potion that would give her special powers. Hilary, Hilary, get up! She's a very marabou. <laughs> marabou Umaga. So what's the appeal for a Senegalese comedian of diving in so deep into the U.S. election? It has everything to do with Kuchia's boss, the owner of the TV station where he works, Yusu Endur. Parce que no, le président directeur général du groupe là où je travaille, Yusu Endur, a, a eu l'idée. The Grammy Award-winning singer parlayed some of his success into broadcast media in Senegal. He owns and operates one of the biggest networks there, TFM, Tele Future Media. And Yusu Ndour, Kutia told me, knew that with our election, a lot of Senegalese eyes are in the United States. Ndour wanted his country people to be aware of the things Donald Trump has been saying, so he asked Kutia to come up with his act. Uh, Donald Trump de l'immigration. Kutia's blonde wig helps, but really he doesn't look a thing like Donald Trump. Still, Kutya's show has launched a discussion among Senegalese expats in the U.S. about Trump, a candidate they generally don't like. It's actually a bitter relationship that goes back to the 1980s, when Senegalese peddlers tried hawking their wares in front of Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue in New York. Trump alleged at the time that the Senegalese were part of a scam, trafficking in stolen merchandise, and that most of them, according to Trump, worked for, quote, a small band of extremely wealthy people who probably have big homes in New Jersey and Connecticut. The peddlers all denied that, but now the rivalry is alive again. And journalist Dom Babu in New York says, for many Senegalese here, Kutia show is not just entertainment. Here in the community, you have still a large number of people who are not really fluent in English, so I'm not sure they get it when Donald Trump says it. But when uh, Sataya comes with Kucha, it looks like they may almost take it like uh, you when you watch The Daily Show. It's like news to them, too. The news of the world 